Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet, the babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. We're still at the gates of uh, Comstock House at the back of the Bank of the Prophet. But before we go in, since uh, the ghost of Lady Comstock just broke open the door for us, I'm gonna actually see what we can buy with the buttload of money we've collected uh, so far. So I'm gonna try and buy a few um, bigger upgrades. Especially shock duration aid is gonna come in handy, so increases the stun duration of pretty much anything. So there we go, increase the stun duration. I also know by now that the fact that sometimes we get that shock effect on enemies is because of our uh, overkill uh, gear, uh, which causes us to uh, stun enemies when we kill somebody with an excess of damage. So aside from the shock duration aid, I'm also going to by the uh, crow's trap aid so causes the corpses of murder of crows victims to become crow traps themselves so there we go completely upgraded murder of crows and i'm just gonna quickly check out the weapon upgrades and see if we can't upgrade any damage thingies maybe the hand cannon i like to use the hand cannon every once in a while so let's go with that let's uh, buy the upgrade for the hand cannon there we go and I'm gonna save the rest of our money for now so with that done that preparation done let's head into well you've already dealt with a ghost but things are gonna get a bit more creepy from now on so uh, let's head into Comstock house and during the loading screen we got a trophy for that so blood in the streets and there we have the ominous well Site of uh, Comstock House. Um, this entire thing is a bit of a, a carriage that we can summon to get up there because that's where we need to go. And yep, there's apparently a constant thunderstorm surrounding this thing, but there's not much here aside from just this one lever which we can use to uh, get things started. So here we go. Hi! Run, Elizabeth. And there's Songbird. And turning to red. Hi. Oh god. Oh. That should have killed you. And suddenly, we're somewhere else. Hello. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. So now the Latessas are uh, uttering that mysterious sentence we've uh, heard before the the very reason we're here in Colombia for so bring us the girl and wipe away the debt but somehow that's the Latessa saying it right now and now we have Elizabeth here she was here in the previous um, well vision we had before and uh, the girl and, wipe away the debt. and she repeats it we still don't know what this is exactly so the Latessas, Elizabeth, and then we hear a sort of a children's chime in the background. So let's open the door. And there we have Songbird screaming. And we're waking up back where we uh, were thrown into the tower. So mysterious little uh, intermittent scene. Songbird, if you wanted to kill us, why don't you do that immediately then? Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Don't hurt him! I'm sorry! I'm sorry. I never should have left. I never should have left. Take me back. Take me. Take me home. And we know she doesn't want to go because she told us to uh, kill her when this would happen. But we are completely defenseless against something Elizabeth! like that. So now we need to get after uh, Songbird, obviously. Um, there's a hook over there. And let's go down. So the thunderstorm is uh, wreaking havoc on the bridge here. But it is going down, so let's keep going. Holy shit. Come after me if you want. I'm not letting you take her, you hear me? 
Ah, you feathered piece of shit! I'm not going to... And suddenly... It's snowing. Snow. It's July. Snow? It's July. So, for some reason, the thunderstorm just changed into a frickin' blizzard. The rest of the building seems to be the same. Because the Elizabeth, statues are still here. Can you hear me? So let's try and uh, get inside. And there's a tear over there. So there we go. Get your hands off of me. But it's in a tear, so what does that mean? Take me back to my tower. Please, please. Just take me back to my tower. But it's still weird that that's coming from a tear and not what we're actually hearing. Our Lady Elizabeth, Godspeed die judgment. So inside of Comstock House... Some men dream of money. Some men dream of love. My father dreamt of a flood of fire. We were given Eden and we turned it into Sodom. Why do we deserve salvation? The Lord gave Noah a fish in the form of a flood. But he was not so easy on me. He said, Prophet, I want you to train a nation of fishermen. He said, Prophet, I want you to train a nation of fishermen. So she's calling herself the Prophet, which I'm not going to tell you what is going on right now, but there's a giant statue of Elizabeth here where she's apparently worshipped. We know she was already worshipped before since we, uh, well, everybody called her the Lamb, the Salvation of the City, but this seems to be a step further. So what the hell is going on? So a lot of pictures of people doing things wrong, so anarchists, heretics, pacifists and fornicators so pacifists that's a bit weird somebody who doesn't want to fight is on here let's take a look around because there's a few staircases leading up here um because it is weird that we're in comstock house what are you planning to do to me and it seems that elizabeth isn't really sure what this place is either so let's go further No sin evades his gaze, so a very, very creepy, well, sign over here. And then a lot of people that seem to be under the uh, influence of uh, multiple dimensions, all wearing uh, masks of uh, Benjamin Franklin, George, George Washington, or um, Jefferson, I think, yeah. So, very, very weird, but doesn't seem like they're... Uh, they're evil, but right over there, we have something we haven't seen before. That thing over there. Um, can't really do anything else than just try and go over there. And when he sees us, he starts freaking out. Okay. These guys are incredibly difficult to beat. I'm just gonna use uh, Devil's Kiss for now. Because together with the overkill, that's gonna allow them to be killed a lot easier. I don't know if we have one more. Yeah, one more of this. So it look like, looks like these guys are really, really resilient for some reason. So they kind of have a sort of shield around them as well. Oh. And when we kill them, that shield kind of disappears. So we're completely out of salts. These guys usually don't have anything on them, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I should even bother checking those corpses because they have nothing at all. We're completely out of salts right now. 
which is exactly why the game is doing this. And they're giving us a little bit of health and a pistol. I'm going to take it since that thing has a little bullets and we're almost out of bullets for the machine gun. And we're going to be able to use every advantage we can get in this place. So that thing that was standing here that kind of alerted everybody around here is called a, a boy of silence. So these guys have a sort of... I'm actually going to go over here because there's an image of them over here. So they have a kind of a giant metallic mask on top of them. So they can't see anything, but they can hear very well. So if the, the beam of light shines on you, you're actually detected. And he summons, well, the help of every of one of these crazy interdimensional impossibly to beat dudes. Which is annoying for us. But area is restricted. Entrance only by warden's approval on the third floor. So let's try and open this up. I don't think... Yeah, let's try this. Alright. Listen. I just want to see the girl. And we don't get any response. What were those? Doesn't matter. I just gotta get to the warden's office. I just gotta get to the warden's office. Let's... Try and access the please, elevator here. It's too late for that now, child. Your father gave you a lovely home, and you chose to destroy it. He's not my father. Dr. Pettyfog, so you uh, destroyed the house your father gave us. That's nothing new, of course. So uh, Dr. Pettyfog seems to be someone who's working here. And now we have an audio log from Elizabeth herself. I suppose the siphon is a kind of leash. Yes, my father put it on me. But when the time came, neither did I remove it myself. What would happen if I took off the leash and I found I was as obedient as ever? So the siphon in the tower, she sees that as a kind of leash, but when the time came, she didn't take it off herself either. What does she mean with that? Because we're not really past the point that she could turn off the siphon. So let's, let's explore this place a bit and see what we can find out. So we need to get to the warden's office. We don't know who the warden is or what his... Uh, well, authority is in, in, uh, in Colombia. I was almost, almost going to say Rapture. But it seems like there's a lot of statues of Elizabeth here that she's kind of worshipped over here. So why would they try to hurt her? Let's find out, shall we? So we're completely um, linked to Let our weapons here because we don't have any salts left. That would be, and there we have another boy of silence. Just going to try and get out of here. And we still hear the Elizabeth uh, propaganda on the on the intercom. Let's take the salts now that we can get them. That's half our bar filled again. And as you can see, there's a lot of uh, a lot of signs along this place. So where we sleep is the one we're at now. Just gonna try and sneak past these guys because if I can avoid killing them, because you don't get anything from killing these guys. And they don't attack you unless you uh, aggravate the boy of silence. Um, but there is a bit of loot lying around here. But the next stair seems to be over here in this uh, very Shine. creepy chair. Would you like to pray with me? You're hurting me. Please just let me go. We're going to cure you. I'm not sick. Your spirit is. All I ever wanted is to see you live up to your potential. So it seems to be a tear, but we don't see anything through that that is different. So, um, yeah, it seems like something has happened already. So Comstock apparently got to Elizabeth already and talked to her and uh, tried to uh, persuade her to his way of thinking again. Where we cleanse? We'll get to that in a second, but right now I want to go to where we weep. Because where we weep is the, well, the morgue. So they burn the corpses here. Which is not creepy at all. Uh, there's a heater here. Might be handy, but I'm not gonna take it. Um, let's take the salts and another Elizabeth Voxophone. Our minds are born, festering with sin. Some are so blighted, they will never find redemption. 
The mind must be pulled up from the roots. My children are without blame, without fault, and without choice. For what is the value of will when the spirit is found wanting? So Elizabeth is really starting to sound like the prophet himself, so Father Comstock himself, since she, when we came in, we heard her talking about, well, calling herself the prophet even. So, uh, yeah, okay, hi, that is not, that is not creepy at all, hi. And now here she actually sounds like she's uh, talking as the prophet again, so, and all the small health kit, we're almost there, one more and we're going to be at full health I'm again. I'm Dr. Pettifog, Elizabeth, and I'll be taking care of you. Get away from me. Defiant, even after all this time. DeWitt just left you here. You need to give up on him, love. He will come. So that is weird. It sounds like we're past the point that Elizabeth still believes that we can save her. Because um, we're only a few minutes after she was abducted. So it seems like there's been too much going on for that small amount of time, so you might already realize what is going on. I'm gonna have to be careful here, because I know that this one might be a bit fidgety. I know I can't really sp sprint. I'm gonna have to be careful here. Because right now we're safe. I'm gonna have to try and get to his pattern. I think he then moves to the left. Because he... They're called the Boys of Silent, and it does look to his the, their designs that they can hear a lot of things. But they're actually completely deaf, so if you sprint past them, they won't notice. Um, I'm wondering if there's a Voxophone around here somewhere. There's more pistol ammo. Uh, but I don't think there is anything here, because these areas are just for us to sneak past. I'm just going to try and keep, him, keep the, the pipe over there in between us and the... Uh, the boy of silence. Oh, come on. Get the salts. Get the salts. Yeah, okay. We're still in the shadow. The specimen needs to be destroyed. We couldn't even hold her in that tower. And now the prophet... Destroyed the lamb? His hair? If we modify the procedure, we could... It would be safer for everyone. It would seem an accident. So, uh, the doctors wanted to get rid of Elizabeth, so, uh, because they believed her to be way too dangerous to keep alive because of her powers, obviously. Just gonna walk into this area, so we're, uh, pretty safe for now. Ooh, switch cabinets, machine gun ammo. Can always use... Jesus! Kinda forgot about that. Um, I think... If I'm able to use possession... Let's um, take over the machine guns. And there we go, they destroyed each other. I'm gonna have to be careful now because I think there's a crow coming. Yeah, on the right. I'm gonna have to be careful that I don't walk in front of. Because, yeah, the pistol doesn't do much damage. There we go. I think there's a few other guys around here, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Yeah, there we go. That's his face. That's his face. And there we go. So yeah, the stun effect is because of overkill. Uh, causing us to stun enemies when we uh, kill with too much damage. Is something the matter? I'm hungry. You'll need to eat sooner or later. If you hold out for DeWitt, you'll just starve to death. Come now. Come now. So again, indicating that there's a lot of time going in between these stairs. So that makes you wonder what happened to us. Because we almost... It almost seemed like we skipped a few uh, a few months here. Or even maybe years. Because Booker, uh, well, astutely recommended that... Uh, well, noticed that... Well, snow wasn't really happening in July. We were July when we started the game. Humanity wrote a bad check, and the blood was the only way to settle accounts. 
For what is Columbia, if not a different arc in a different time? For what is Columbia, if not a different arc in a different time? So uh, that's a sentence we've heard before. But let's head to where we work. Uh, I'm actually going to check... Before we go there, there's a few things I want to check around here. Because I don't want to miss any voxophones and I... My memory of this area isn't entirely perfect. So I'm gonna have to look around a bit, so give me a second. Okay, didn't really miss anything, but we need to get over there. Because that's uh, the... well, over there and that... Oh, oh, damn it. Over there and that um, area over there is the uh, coroner's... the coroner's... the warden's office. The warden's office, that was, uh, that was the word I was looking for. Let's head to where we work, and there's another chair here. This time, Prophet, even if we cure her, why do you think she'll do what you ask? My daughter has two problems, Doctor. One is the condition that science will cure her of. The other affliction is of a spiritual nature. What affliction is that? Hope. Hope, hope that Booker would still be able to save her. So let's let's go under the assumption that we have been jumping a few time zones here, that uh, Elizabeth somehow managed to propel us forward in time, or that we maybe even hit a, uh, a tear without us knowing, because there was a lot of fog going on. But hummingbirds. I think this is just another picturesque, yeah, by William R. Foreman. Just, uh, yeah filming a few hummingbirds. I'm just gonna skip it because that's all it is. But I need it for the trophy. Um, oh god, I hate these rooms. There's been one in practically every Bioshock game now, I think. A room with, like, doll heads all over the place. Um, let's take a look around. Your on... surgery is tomorrow, you know. You better eat. Oh, you still expect the wit to burst in and rescue you, don't you? It's been six months. Six months. So there we go, the first indication that something has gone wrong. That we uh, didn't just move across the bridge in a normal fashion, but actually just lot, lost a lot of time as well in between us uh, starting across the bridge and us ending at Comstock House. So let's just be very, very careful here, because we don't want to bump into another boy of silence. And there's one, uh, conveniently, right over there. There's a shotgun over there, but I'm not gonna, not gonna bother. So this one is a bit harder, since we have only one way to go. We got a little bit of time if we want to. Just gonna duck below here. I think we need to go to the left. Although we could go all the way around if we wanted to. Just want to be careful that it goes... Ooh, that's... Turning all the way around, I think. Okay, now he's looking to the right. I think he's going in full circles here. There we go. Over there, now in our direction. Ooh, this is... This is harrowing. So that's the first point he turns around a bit. And then he just looks at the wall, I think. Yeah, and then he keeps going, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, God. Health for salt. When you're out of salt, you will use health to cast vigors. Uh, it's a cool thing to have. I'm just gonna take it. Just gonna go past the wall here. And there's another voxophone. So let's listen to another Elizabeth voxophone. Bring us the girl and wipe away the dead. But in the end, he is the one who will have to pay down all of our accounts, won't he? Where does his guilt start? And mine end? Where does his guilt start and mine end? That is an interesting assumption. So she is starting to blame Booker for pretty much everything. If we assume that she's talking about Booker, of course, and not somebody else. Uh, he's just turning around again. So I think I can safely enter the area over here. There we go. Um, so then, where we look? Okay. Just gonna have to be careful here, because he's still looking outside of the room. Yeah, here we go. Just gonna check the other side of the room here. I don't think there's anything here. Okay. 
then where we learn so let's head inside of this area i don't think there's a boy of silence in here yeah there's just an instructional video he would free me of my chains but in the end he abandoned me to serve his own needs but in some ways i thank him he showed me exactly how much faith our species Deserved. He showed me exactly God how put his faith much fate our species too. deserved. It seems that we have something in common. Disappointment. I did not always love the prophet. In truth, I ran from his embrace. I even denied that I was his. I followed a man who seemed to be everything my father was not. That man was a false shepherd. And when the wolves came for me, he was nowhere to be found. So she completely blames Booker by now, so um, indicating... Well, even indicating that uh, Father Comstock is her actual father again, even though we know that that's not the case. Um, so... We can kind of assume that she was brainwashed in between our uh, little time skip. So let's see if we can uh, check out something else. Battleship Falls, I think we checked that one out already. Is that just, yeah, William Foreman? Oh! What? I, th I thought we checked that one already. Never mind. Never mind, my mistake then. I thought we checked that one already. I'm just going to keep saying it apparently, but uh, yeah. Never mind. I think there's another piece of gear here, yeah. Let's take that. I know there's another Voxophone in this area as well, because there's a lot of uh, interesting items around here. Rising Bloodlust. After each successful kill, weapon damage is increased. Resets 10 seconds after the last kill. It's something very cool, but it's not as cool as Storm, of course. I'm just going to take the gear and uh, keep it at that. I'm actually going to check out if we don't have anything interesting to uh, change the shock vest for, because we have, yeah, shock jacket, we still have that. Storm is really good, headmaster is really good, and overkill is really good, but shock jacket. Um, increases the radius of explosive weapon splash damage, scavenger vests, sugar rush, or ammo advantage. Although nitro vest is cool as well. Let's take the nitro vest for now and see how that treats us. So our explosive weapons should become a bit more effective. Still going with the pistol at the moment. We, we have all the trophies of every weapon in this area for now. So I'm not gonna even switch. And there we have the Voxophone I was talking about. Another Elizabeth one. As the days pass, I believe less in God and more in Lutes. My powers shrivel as my regrets blossom. All of this because my father failed me. By the time I realized how far I'd gone, it was too late to stop it. But there is still one last chance at redemption for both of us. For both of us. So, it sounds like we're even that far along that Elizabeth even realized her mistake if all these uh, foxophones are in order. But uh, we don't know in what state she is in right now. So clearly some time has passed, but we don't know where we're at with Elizabeth. How she sees us now, if she realized her mistake by uh, following Comstock or not. And yeah, because we're kind of blurry on how these voxophones link together, if they're chronologically or not. Because that might, uh, well, make ourselves confused a bit. Um... Before we go into the warden's office, because it's right there, indicated by that lovely, lovely giant sign over there, I'm going to take a little break. So when we get back, we're going to go and listen to that voxophone on the chair over there and uh, try to open up the rest of the facility so we can try and get Elizabeth out. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.